Now that these uh, walls are complete and fully rendered, Tannoy, Gibson and Bosnanti have been tasked with waterproofing them. Now the waterproofing that we're using is uh, Boysen, which is a leading brand here in the Philippines. And you just mix cement, pure cement with it to form a, uh, a nice base layer that they brush on and it just protects the, um, the, the rendered dwarf wall or the parapet wall from absorbing any water. Good morning legends, welcome to vlog 199, vlog 199 on the Miles Roldan YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the uh, vlog and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the dream home building project here in Sapit and Capis. So we start today with uh, Joba as the labor downstairs. Rio is doing IAG work and beginning the lunch preparation Joba is uh, in charge of Harlot or the mixing of concrete for the rendering downstairs and Nunai Jovin and Didong Jerson are in charge of throwing concrete onto the walls or rendering and they've made some good progress it's not the best uh, light legend so uh, Please forgive me if it gets a bit dark inside because we haven't got running electricity yet properly anyway throughout the, uh, the, the build. So we've spent the last three or so days on this concrete gutter and uh, now work has shifted on to the rendering of downstairs. So this entrance wall with our control panel and uh, and switch box is also um, being rendered by Jerson. And Nunoy Jovin is over by the downstairs toilet CR You can see legends that uh, Jerson is using a guide string, piss it, and uh, I can assure you that uh, he spent yesterday afternoon making sure that this is all level and uh, straight so they serve as true guide lines or guide strings for him.
Let's check in on uh, Luna Jovin. It's just a short walk across over to the communal CR area. Now Tanoi was doing this originally. I think Tanoi did the l bottom layer and Nunoi Jovin now has taken over. And oh, this wall on this side is already uh, rendered fully. So I imagine Nunoi Jovin will focus on this before lunch and get at least the first layer in. Again, apologies if it's dark legends. We have, uh, we have no electricity at the moment or limited electricity. So it's all at this moment using uh, daylight. So uh, yeah, I've given you uh, an update on Nunoi Jovin. Let's get, head back over to Jerson where there's a bit more light. The stairwell is fully uh, rendered. My mother and father's room looks like it's all there now. They spent yesterday rendering this back wall of the control panel. You'll see, you would have remember from previous vlogs that they threw concrete as a base layer on it. And now it looks like it's fully rendered now. That's a better, got a bit more daylight there from that angle. You can see it's still kind of wet, so we shouldn't really touch it. So this is the first Team Legends. So Team 1 is downstairs doing the rendering and uh, I'll give you an update on what Team 2 is done is doing. We've split the, the gang gang into two today. Uh, all allocated with different tasks. So Jovin and Jerson are rendering downstairs with the help of Joba as their labor who is uh, mixing more concrete or rendering. And we have uh, Boss Nanti, Apprentice, Tanoi, and Gibson upstairs. And I'll explain what they're doing upstairs in a minute. But welcome legends for vlog 199. I hope you're enjoying it thus far. If you have anything that you wish to ask or any queries, questions, or just simply say hello, throw them in the comment section below of this YouTube channel. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that share button. And if you're not a subscriber already, go and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. And it will regularly notify you when I upload content here from the Philippines. On with the vlog. All right, legends, you can see, if you have a keen eye, you can see uh, Gibson is at the top there, at your top right-hand side of the screen, and you have Boss Nanti also climbing on the top left. And uh, they are working upstairs, and I will give you a close-up on what they're up to in a second. To make, so let's make that ascent. Let's go. Right legends, we're on the third floor right at the top of the Dream Home Building project and if you've uh, been keeping up to date with current vlogs 
you'll know that we spent the majority of last week carrying out these or uh, building these parapet walls these dwarf walls these walls are there to protect the uh, the roof from lifting in harsh winds which are quite common here in the Philippines as well as typhoons and uh, now that these uh, walls are complete and fully rendered Tanoi, Gibson and Bosnanti have been tasked with waterproofing them now the waterproofing that we're using is uh, Boysen which is a leading brand here in the Philippines and you just mix cement pure cement with it to form a, uh, a nice base layer that they brush on and it just protects the, um, the, the rendered dwarf wall or the parapet wall from absorbing any water and allowing that water then to seep down through the house so uh, it just um, provides a protection layer and hopefully that water will then just gloss off slide off onto the roof and then be caught with our roof and then what will eventually be our completed concrete gutter which will also eventually be um, waterproofed with our boysen paint you also notice legends that they have a green guide string pisset that they've used and they're waterproofing up to that line and then the uh, the base at the top now the whole point of that is because there will be another flash layer or uh, metal flashing that will then be added and will then go on top of the long span metal sheet so again there's no need to waterproof that because uh, we'll be adding uh, some metal sheeting or metal flashing there to add to the roof so they've made a huge progress our four liters apparently tanoya has informed me is not enough so we're gonna have to at some point this morning buy some more because i think they're on their last bit who will uh bakala tanoya see rio ah but we buy from the german in it see ric okay uh i will send joe bird now? Okay. Okay. So yeah, you'll uh, see that the guys, Tanoi, Nanti and Gibson have already waterproofed this area on both sides. It looks really good. I know there's no point in waterproofing right now legends because there is no roof but if you imagine once the roof is on this job just becomes a lot more harder because uh, you know that these are the type of tasks that you got to do before the roof arrives because if you imagine once the roof arrives and then we put the solar panels then coming in at a later date to waterproof it all just becomes silly so just waterproof it now knowing that the job's done obviously it isn't waterproof but once we are all watertight we know that we've already put the base layer of the waterproofing down hopefully once we buy this new waterproofing bucket boysen bucket i will be able to show you the templar the mix boss nanti or gibson will uh, will mix the uh, cement and the waterproofing together and you can get an idea of how that works as well so yeah today we are waterproofing here on the top floor of the parapet wall so yeah glad to have you on board and this is how you waterproof a parapet wall Bird, belly.
Bert? Pwede ka ba kal isa ka Boysen waterproof? Boysen waterproof? Oh. Ario? Sa 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 Ma'am Doris? Oh. And then bakal uh, isa ka brush? Please. Thick brush? Brush ka? Oh. Please. And then imo ang sensilyo ko ang uh, gasolina mo. Ha? <laughs> Aman, tali, tali. Wala si, sila waterproof na. Pasi maulan. <laughs> Pasi maulan. <laughs> oh, si Jibson. I said uh, hurry up, legends, because it might rain. <laughs> anyway, silly joke. Ah, uh, maalam si boss nanti my roller siya. See? His job is easier because he's just rolling. So Boysen, I don't know if it's because their baldi is kulai green but ang uh, kulai ang waterproofing is green right? But boy stick is uh, kulai grey If you remember from our boarding house legends <laughs> Ayan, he, he halo ang boy stick and Boysen So some is green, some wall is grey <laughs> So legends, if you've seen vlog uh, 198, you will have known that we were concreting a gutter or making a concrete gutter that is now drying and Tanoi believes that they will remove the foremast tomorrow, Saturday and if it is uh, dry already, 
they'll give it a waterproof layer as well and uh, yeah it should be able to dry further in the elements over the weekend and just like that Joba is back Okay, Jobber, thank you. So 845 legends for the Boyson Plexi Bond acrylic waterproofing. And we'll show you legends. Boss Nancy will show you how to uh, templa, how to mix mix this waterproofing. Because uh, Gibson Wallat Halotna and Tanoi just finished his share as well. And it looks like we still have a little bit to go. My second coating or what? What Tanoi? That's. Mm. Just if my uh, spot spot. Mm. Okay, legend. So in Sapi and Capis, it's 845 pesos for this boys in a four liter bucket of waterproofing flexi bond. Let me know how much it costs in your place, whether you're from Australia or other parts of the Philippines. So, what Tanoi and Gibson are doing is uh, putting some cement through a filter, a bit like the Ayag, but on a smaller scale. So the, the cement comes through very fine, without any lumps. So the acrylic bond legends is of a white mixture. And then Tanoi is giving it a little stir, mix it up a little bit, get all the chemicals back together if they've broken up.
I pour the, uh, the fine cement into the mixture. It looks like it will be half and half. He has now some mix ready to carry on his wall. Legends, that's it for vlog 199. Vlog 199 is in the can. I'm gonna go edit it now. Thank you so much for joining me. I think you'll agree we had a, an awesome day here on our dream home building project. We began with rendering downstairs and waterproofing our parapet wall on the third floor. So yeah, loads of progress. Join me for vlog 200. Vlog 200 is next. Can you believe it? 
it's me, me, myself and I, Miles Roldan. Thanks for watching.